All right, so this week you and I are playing what now? This is Synthetic 2, and at the time of this stream, the game is not yet available, but we got special permission to stream it early. And when I say early, I mean this game is going to launch officially basically in like a few hours. I think it goes like live 6 a.m. tomorrow, so... We're playing it really, you know, not even a half a day early, but it's still early nonetheless. We feel special. I played the original game, an action twin stick shooter, and we are jumping into this sequel here for the very first time. This is the, the, the very first time I'm seeing it. This is the very first time you're seeing it. So this is new to, to me and you, so I'm curious to see more and to see maybe how it differs from the original. And right, right off the bat, because I played the first game on Xbox, and I can tell just immediately how the graphical overhaul from over the first game is already way better and different from from the first game so early impressions good um it's fucking weird yeah so this like the, the gimmick reload mechanic is yes that was my complaint with the first game is it's trying to be this very action heavy game and you just want to shoot 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 and kill these guys but then you got to kind of stop and you got to do the gears of war timed reload and i thought it was kind of weird i thought it kind of got in the way in the first game but there's going to be ways around it because in the in the first game at least you got these modifiers and you it, it's not i use the word modifier not game enhancer because you might get a, a thing where it's like all right you're your reload speed is like you know increased but you you know you don't move as fast or or something like that you might hit harder but your reload time is longer something along those lines so it's just kind of changes how you, you play but there's a lot of classes and a ton of enemies and it actually kind of wants you to aim which is fucking yeah, I don't know if there's a some kind of an auto aim. Sit. Why are you blowing up there? What what is that all about? Is that a move you're doing? Nope. I think I'm. I don't know if I'm like stepping on like mines or something. Yeah, I didn't see anything on the floor. Maybe I missed something. But we should also explain we are from mygamer.com. I don't think we said that we're from mygamer.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. We appreciate you watching. Yeah, that's always the worst when you get an enemy who's got like no health left and you got to yeah, reload. You just need asshole. one more, one more bullet. Not even. Yeah, those missiles. Yeah, are they hunt you. They hunt you down. I don't know if there was a melee attack there in the is, first. Right button. Oh, okay. I think I have unlimited ammo, maybe? Yeah. Or... I think your regular gun might have unlimited... See, what, did, what What was that explosion? Oh, I don't... okay. I think that might be, like, after I dash, when I stop, uh, it does that. Okay, that might be that. Yep. Yes, there you go. That's that character's pro ability, probably. Yeah, the first game also had online co-op. Let me see. I don't think anyone's alive. Yeah, right now oh, this no. game is just it's just single player, it says. But yeah, this is some kind of a, a dystopian, you know, something happened where you're just fighting a bunch of robots. So, it this is, it, uh, it's a twin stick shooter. Um, it, it tells me how much ammo I wasted, which makes me feel like I'm not supposed to, like, reload when I get a minute. But, like, you... if not, you're reloading in the fucking center of battle. Yes. So, that's... Maybe it's just the stat that they're... Because they can? I don't know. <laughs> Look at yeah, this thing maybe... hunting you down. Holy cow. Yeah, dude. These missiles, man, they don't mess around. The enemies are Maybe you fine, gotta dash but away if from you them. don't specifically aim at the enemy, it seems like uh, you're targeting, like you just, 
your aim is like way off but if you aim specifically at them mm -hmm. then there's like an auto aim kind of like yeah, a catch sort of, yeah it sort of it's just like oh you're trying to pop this trying guy. to hit this guy yeah all right yeah i guess that's a thing it, it's just weird design choices that they're totally that's what it is it's a choice i guess so these are large environments i wonder if there's a ah. mini map feature um i haven't seen a mini map yeah Uh, okay. also that reloading is two different buttons is weird. Like what do you, what do you to, mean? You have to pop the clip out and then... And then reload it? And then you reload it. So. Yes, that's what the first... Yes, now that you mention that, that's what the first game was. You had to eject the clip and then hit, like... You Which know, it's like is, uh, yeah. like our, our, our bumper to to eject it or something and like L bumper to reload me. I could be... I'm probably getting it wrong, but yes, there was something along those lines. Which I, I think it is, you need one, but like if you were to do the, you have to eject the clip and then reload mm -hmm. it, that's fine, but don't make me hit two buttons. Yeah, that was my, comp probably my biggest complaint with the first game is I thought it was just too much. You know, it wants you to be this action game and then you got to like, it's, it's you're, making you're you trying stop you're trying to focus on the enemies and their fire but you got to take your eyes off it to look at the reload thing well it's not even that it's like it, if you're moving your reticle gets fucking huge and you just shoot all over the place so it, it's not really a twin stick shooter but yeah you need to you you do need to stop and pop stop. a little bit yeah yeah, now that when you mention that, now I understand. Yeah, you can see your reticle there, jammed. Yeah, I can't. Shoot. And then, when you do stop, yeah, it shrinks to like a sniper rifle, you know, zoomed in almost circle. Yeah, it's so. Now I'm going to be curious. So when you die, because it's supposed to be. A rogue like i guess where if you die you might be able to like grab your stuff and find your body or you just gotta go just do it all over again yeah it, it well and that's the thing is like what does what does that term mean to you because yeah what every it's game supposed does it to mean is different than what it act like in the original rogue you got you got nothing yes like if you died you that was it like your runs over start again it's yes. a random dungeon uh, once you learn the mechanics of it you stand a better chance but even at a thousand percent you know understanding like it, it'll it'll still murder you it's just yes yeah it'll... like It'll, it'll kill you like mystery dungeon games yeah a lot of these roguelikes is it's it's just that you know you're gonna die you're you're, you're not really gonna take anything but there might be you know a weapon that you can start with there might be an ability that you can still carry over from the last run so, so there's some permanent upgrades or, or uh, uh, say unlocks not really upgrades so i'm not i'm curious to see how they handle that is it going to be a straight Nope, you got to start the whole thing over with no chance of bringing anything back to the next run. But that's extremely rare to see now. I mean, every we talk about this. It seems like every week, but it's like every game is some type of a rogue gameplay idea these days. Yep. Oh, I have to shoot through the jamming. Okay. That's yeah. The these invite. That's interesting. These environments, like I said right at the beginning of this of the stream, are just way more detailed and way more variety than the original game. You know, now that we're playing it for a little bit longer, it's like, so they they definitely did a good job there, changing it up. Looks a lot different. Looks a lot better. 
yeah, it. Uh, it's it's sort of not a twin stick shooter. Yeah. Which, which it has twin stick shooter mechanics, but uh, it's 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 hard to describe. It's sort of like a ranged Diablo. Yes. These missiles, holy cow. It's like everybody's shooting the same missiles. Oh no, it's just those. It, that it's just the thing, but enemies. yeah, it, it's just that every every cluster of enemy, there's like one of those. There he is, the missile guy. Yep. And they're. Um... There's another one, yeah. <laughs> just pull them up with your yeah, it dash just move. There yeah, you go. It, so the the melee seems like a little overpowered. I mean, you do have to get pretty close. I do, but... Sorry, took a drink there. It, it's get really closer, waste a clip and a half. Right. The levels are big, and that's yeah. Great, but it's also you want that mini map. There's no mini map, so that doesn't help. But I, I don't know what like the objective is, and like there's so many enemies. <laughs> I was just going to say, what is the objective? Is it to kill everybody? I, I know you I don't know. skipped not... by that. Yeah, maybe you just have to reach the end. You have to kill everybody. You have to find something. Yeah, so you can waste a clip and a half or, mm -hmm. you know, a bunch of bull You have to get in pretty close to them anyway. Guy's dead. Still following me. Yeah. So I'm sure that it's just this weapon sucks, and that's the issue. Yeah, there's we got to find another gun. Yeah, but still. Ex exit. There you go. Yeah. But you got to fight through the last. This would be a good spot for a nade, but we don't have nades. Yeah, we do. Oh, let's chuck a nade. There you go. I don't die now at the end. Yeah. Right. Yeah, just keep your distance. I, I mean, that's the thing with I think twin stick shooters is, is you just do the standard circle strafe to kill, because what else are you gonna do? Like what you know, that's like yeah, the typical. This it's it seems like my range is higher than most of them. Yes. Yeah, you can shoot them from pretty deep. And so you can actually be farther away than their AI allows. So you just snipe them from a distance, basically. Yeah, even with the pistol. Yeah. So I can't imagine something with a longer range. What that would be like. Is that the exit? I couldn't tell. That's the exit. Ma That's like the end of this area this one. massive. Yeah. So what do you think? Yeah, I want to see what the what this next segment is. Do we get a story? Do we just? Is it like a pick your own path? Oh, I definitely skipped by some of the story. That's on me. Yeah, no, and that's. I mean, it's. I just want to see. Okay, so they just they don't really. It doesn't seem like they give you a choice. They're like, all right, here's just your next level. Just do this. It's not not a branching path. You don't get to pick a new gun. You don't get to, uh, you know, equip a new loadout or something. You just kind of keep going. Yeah. And it it keeps telling me like my gun leveled up, but. If, yeah, if you hit, like, you know, is there a menu? Can you go to the menu and see, after you kill this guy? Is there, man, look at the shield on this. Is there a, uh, what do we got? Pause, class, upgrades, go to upgrades. So we do have a couple of perks, but we do not have items. We didn't find Weapons. anything yet, I guess. Weapons, yeah. That's, you know, general settings. Okay. 
It's explosive run. There you go, yeah. Ah! I was just gonna, it's like, what is these pinball things? Can you blow those Apparently up? What is it? Uh, yeah, bumpers. And like, you could I, shoot. What, what are you doing? You could shoot over like the waist high pieces but of environment. Yeah, that's so. There's good mechanics. Yeah, like the dog had to run around to get you, but, but you can guy, shoot over. Yeah, I can shoot yeah. over it. Yeah. You just gotta watch out for the the pinballings. There's really interesting. Those are gonna be spikes, and you know it. That's why they're not coming to you, right? Oh, yep, yep. Yeah. And then that asshole that shoots the yeah. seek, heat-seeking missiles. Mm -hmm. Or, I should say, me-seeking missiles. And that's barbed wire, so yay. Oh, so you gotta take the long way. Fuck that. Or throw a nade. Terror. Hmm. See, leveled up. What does that mean? Kill this guy and then boot up the screen again. Maybe you got to assign an ability point. I don't think so. No. Hmm. So it doesn't tell you how it gets stronger, and that's weird. Yeah. Maybe it does, we're just missing it, but... Oh, and you can shoot, like, across the gap, that's cool. Uh-oh. Oh, now that had me down pretty low. Oh, so your health regenerates to yes. a certain point, and then you get a shield. Yes. never going in there ah yeah even if you dash you're probably not going to make it because you got to spin it's spinning the long way so that was two entire clips to take got that thing out yeah we got to try to find a better gun somehow I'm looking at my press release for this game, and apparently it will support modding, and it's going to yeah, support... Yeah, it had a menu for modding specifically. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's going to support co-op for up to four players, a new universe hub, overhauled graphics, and much more. I was interested in what the universe hub means. I have no idea. I skipped the tutorial, so I'm sure there was probably something in the tutorial that... <laughs> probably. Yeah, I'll play the tutorial... Off stream, yeah. yeah. That's not... No one wants to listen to me mumble through a tutorial. Yep. They want to hear me mumble while I'm being bad at a game. Yeah, I mean, we haven't died yet, which is... I think that says something. Maybe, maybe that's... And I don't think, you know... It's maybe not our skill, it's just, you know, it's still level 2, so it's still early. And you could call your shots, you can call your battles, I mean, you could shoot back up, pick them off from deep. I also thought that was an ATM of some, oh it is. Nope. It's not? They do nothing. Hmm.
Yeah, so you're encouraged to stop and shoot, to be more accurate. Mm -hmm. But when you... Oh, there it is. It's okay, let's just see what happens now. Okay. I earned experience. Okay. Not Did... enough to level up. Yeah, not enough to level up. Menus are a work in progress. Okay, so we're yeah we're not there yet, so we're still playing an early build. Yeah. To be fair. So I guess yeah, if you level up when you die, then maybe you can you'll start with a stronger gun or a different ability. Just click on the other, uh, what are the other classes? So we got the Grenader, Grenadier. Oh, and there's your tutorial. Oh, there's the universe from the main menu. Yeah. Oh, I don't think it's, I think this is my guy. Okay. It might not be available yet because it's still early. Universe, community, oh, modding, there you go. Yeah, modding, it just. <laughs> we still got testing stuff in there, that's hilarious. But yeah, so this is synthetic too. What do you think? Um, it's it's an interesting work in progress. I agree. It's I don't think it's the worst game, but it's going to be interesting to see what the community does, especially with the modding tool. I think that's something yeah, that yeah, that's absolutely going. Oh, class, you can go over here. There you go. Predator. But oh, riot guard. And the Chrono Trooper. Interesting class is not your typical. Yeah. So yeah, Synthetic 2, check it out. By the time you're watching this, it most likely will be available on Steam. The full version, I believe, and, and more to come. So yeah, this is just an early preview build that we were able to check out early. So we, we, we're thankful for that. Thank you for watching. If you stuck with us the whole time, you could follow us at mygamer.com. You could follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz. And until next time, thank you for watching and game on.